Did I say Capri? I meant Capri. morning it is 5 45 the mic is not on the gh5 so hopefully the audio is okay got uh, about half of the crew with me and we're hiking to the classic shot of fitzroy the secret waterfall very different contrasts from the last video and i think it's going to be an amazing day we can see the stars which is why i'm starting this vlog right now at uh, yeah 5 45 let's go <laughs> and you might have to like shoulder barge with people but try not to be discouraged I mean there's probably shots here as well there's, oh there's the tons the whole area is vast even Capri back there the lake yeah it's got a beautiful reflection oh, and there's no I guess we're heading there uh, well it's too late now there's yeah. no wind though it would have been a fantastic fantastic composition so next time if anybody's watching this at home and you're keen to find the secret waterfall Maybe consider going to Lago Capri if there's 50 photographers that are already set up at your secret. That was gonna be 50 photographers at Capri. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, shit. I mean, did I say Capri? I meant Capri. Yeah. <laughs> it's about four miles outside. morning we have made it to the secret waterfall it's a little bit loud I apologize for trying to keep my voice up and uh, yeah not so secret anymore hey after a couple of years looks like Instagram has done the trick and for good reason this place is beautiful and this morning we are in luck so much better than this time last year when we were here no offense to those who are watching it that were with us last year but this is awesome it's gonna be an epic image Got most of our crew just down here behind me. Brendan's down there with them. Got Tom up here on the ridge. Hope you can see those guys. And getting a couple different compositions on this really classic scene. So I'm gonna bust out the long lens, get some time lapse on the peak, and then hopefully even get a couple of images myself.
How does this compare to the last two times you were here? So the first time we were here it was just you and me. And I hated that because it was just you and me. <laughs> and, the, and then the last time we were here, it was just us and Alaya Licardi. And then now there was 453 people. I think this is great moment for photography. I think this shows the power of the camera and how it brings people together. I think the more people at a location, the more people are enjoying the, the hobby, the passion. So yeah, bring it on, I say. None of this negativity. Let's go make friends. And that's it. The end of our shoot this morning. Another absolutely beautiful sunrise in Fitzroy. A little busy, but I don't think that's a bad thing. It's, uh, it's obvious that the secret waterfall is no longer a secret. And uh, I think that that's not gonna change over the next couple of years. However, in this giant national park, there are a ton of really beautiful potential compositions and viewpoints and sort of like areas where you can see this incredible granite massive and it's not just here, you know. I think that we're almost too focused sometimes on the iconic. And uh, I see that a lot in my own photography and my own travels with Brendan. And uh, I get that you want this image or that it's something that you would travel halfway around the world for. But when you come here and you see sort of 75 other people doing the same thing, it does kind of, it plays with your mind a little bit. It's sort of like, I am one of these people, yet I'm not sure if I want to be. It's, it's hard to explain. I hope you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. So I guess my point is that if you are really interested in coming to Fitzroy and uh, Patagonia and this part of El Chaltan, Argentina, it could be a good idea to give yourself a couple days and explore the region a little bit more to see if there's different compositions. You know, you can still come here and join 75 other people, maybe 100 by next year, but uh, there's still so much more left to explore and to discover. And uh, like the slogan of the Ontario province, it's yours to discover. So we're heading back down on the trail. I've just left Laguna Capri and one of the first camps here in uh, the national park towards Fitzroy. Again, it's Glacier National Park that we're in in Patagonia. And to be honest with you, like I usually go into my vlogs with a bit of a structure and I wasn't going to vlog today because I uh, didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to vlog about. And I, uh, I started the vlog because the weather is just perfect it couldn't be any better there's no wind clear skies a little bit of clouds great group you know really good uh, photography adventure experience opportunity and uh, I guess it's kind of led into this whole sort of in between of of is the iconic really worth you know going to photograph or is it better to go to the the location of the iconic and find a different composition of the same subject and that can be you know a challenge to grapple with that that topic so I'm interested to know what you think leave your opinions in the comments below um, and let's have a discussion so I think for me I still really enjoy the iconic so I want to go to that location get that classic shot and then start looking for uh, more details and other compositions but maybe some people don't want to deal with the crowds and they just want to find something unique and something that's all their own. Uh, so yeah, start that discussion below and let's see what you think. And we're back, back at the hotel after the first real good hiking experience in El Chalten and sunrise experience. As you can see, it is a perfectly sunny day. Don't want to get hit by a car. And I hope you can see 
Uh, Fitzroy in the background there in Poissonot Peak, really incredible part of Argentina and Patagonia. And again, I'm really happy to share this vlog with you. That's like three in a row that have been pretty, pretty good. So that's nice. Usually the weather is sort of hit or miss in Patagonia. So I'm happy that we've been able to share some nice stuff. Uh, today was a little unplanned, unscripted. I hope you liked it that way. And uh, I'm not gonna do many videos like this in the future because I like having a structure. But uh, it was it was fun to share today with you. And uh, we're gonna sign off now because I got lots of editing to do to get these videos up onto YouTube while still working. Oh, oh dude, Jesus. Distractions. Always distracted. I don't Is it know. Recording? Yeah. Is it recording? Oh, you forgot to press the record button. What's that on my lens? Mm -hmm. It's a handsome reflection. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so that's it, the end of the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this one, and I will see you on the next one. Yeah.